welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you another what we watch i almost said wednesday it is wednesday but um but not for you but not for you and we're getting this in just in time yes hopefully just in time hopefully you're watching this you before watch this the fast next enough it'll be before the new episode, episode airs. airs um we we really should have done it right after this episode aired because it was a very uh very good episode um, and so, anyways, episode of what? You're like, what, what? Yes. Hopefully you read the thing. Uh, Cloak and Dagger, um, season one, episode six. six out of ten, correct? I believe so. So we have four more episodes. Uh, so this is a new series, and whereas we, um, we are a family channel in the videos, we, we put out our, um, family-friendly videos, um, some of the shows may not be suitable for all members of the family, so, uh, be sure and check that out, or ask permission if, whatever age you are. Yes. I ask permission, and, yeah. Anyway, okay, so let's prepare get... prepare for spoilers. Yes, um, spoiler, 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 spoiler. So, um, this is, a, a new series, and, uh... And we've been enjoying it so far. Mm -hmm. It's also connected in the in the Marvel universe. Yes, it is. It is cool. And they're starting to, to make um, connections. Just to hear when they make those little connections. That's all. I don't know. It's almost like Easter eggs. It's like yeah. they're like hoping you'll catch it, but they're not making it totally Obvious, like out there. Right. Yeah. Like in um, the Netflix series when they say the incident and mm -hmm. they're referring to, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Or I've heard them say, like, you know, the guy with the shiny hammer or, the, you know, mm -hmm. the, the big green monster. Or, or the shield or having yeah. the shield. Yeah. So, anyway, that's all the other Marvel universes, but we'll get into that. Okay, so this episode, I don't know if your notes say the same thing as mine. I don't know. Let's check. Let's refer notes. No, these are not good. But one thing that, <laughs> while she's looking at that, one thing in regards to that is they make a comment. Um, if you watch any of the the Netflix Marvel shows, um, the 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 detective in here, O'Reilly, she makes a comment. Um, oh yes. About she early on Being earlier, in New York. In, yeah, that she left New York and came to New Orleans. Yep. Um, and then in uh, Luke Cage season two, didn't say that spoiler. We already said spoiler. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, they make a reference. Yes, to her they as make well. a reference to O'Reilly moving to Luke, to New Orleans. So they they yeah. kind of tie that in there if you if you catch it. All right, so uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna start from the beginning of this episode. Um, okay, so the episode starts out and um, they're doing some. Is that voodoo? Yeah. The voodoo that you do. <laughs> now, um, you know, uh, voodoo stuff is like, yeah, whatever. You know, I don't believe, I don't believe, I'm, that's not my belief, but, you know, I see how they're trying to draw in different things. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's just very big in New Orleans. It's like, you know, that, that, yeah, I'm guessing the culture, but any anybody who, I wonder if people who don't are always like, why do we always have to be, have this stuff with it? Anyway, side note. Um, if that's your thing, that's your thing. That's just not my thing. Okay, so, um, and, and that's, you know, like I said, that's fine. That I did have a major problem, and I'm going to say it now. Um, here comes a mini rant. Um, we This is the sixth episode, um, and when I say, like, you know, um, of course there's violence, you know, in some cases kind of extreme, um, shocking, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of violence and stuff like that, and you're going to expect that in superhero things. But there's some um, inappropriate things, um, not like um, drugs and alcohol, but the other one um, that were that took place at the beginning of this episode, and I just totally don't get it. I don't know if they're trying to get a certain rating um, or what, and I don't know. You know, maybe other people don't have a problem with it, but this it's gone six episodes without this random little scenes of stuff. Yeah, I was really and, kind of surprised because it was just it was quick, but it it really had no. No, it really didn't tie into the episode. It didn't really tie into. Tied, it really and even if it does, it I'm just saying, even if that scene happens to tie in, there are different ways to go about that. So there's my rant. This is episode six. You already think um, that you know what to expect, and then they throw in a scene that if you were watching this with, you know. Um, perhaps a little bit younger viewer or whatever it was over the top for me for especially what they've been showing okay so there there's my rant hey if you're enjoying this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get the notifications so you can see more awesome unboxer fun all right so and then um so what we find out is he tries to get a job 
at the um, at the place where his brother's friend's yes. working. And I'm guessing, I don't know. Uh, I can't tell exactly what it's supposed to be. It, it, like it appears built, to be, like they're yeah, they're building something. something. Or, I, I don't know, like, some kind of construction or something yeah. or other. But um, he says it's his brother's company, but yet it really isn't. I think he means it was built off of the money from yeah. the police officer. So yeah, basically yeah, his brother was, yeah. did not build the company. So the first time you saw this guy in the company, you're thinking, um, decent guy, mm -hmm. tries to encourage him. But, you know, in those shows, you're always like, mm, mm, mm. you know, you got to watch because, you know, one minute they're all fine and good. And then the next minute they're they're turning on you. Yeah. So, um, and we did we find out we found out previously that he did see him talking to the cop with the. Yeah, the scar. dirty cop. Yeah. yeah. Dirty cop. Is that what we're calling him? <laughs> yes. The I can't, I can't redheaded cop name. with the scar. On his face. They they mentioned his name, but I I honestly can't remember yeah. what it is right now. <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, so he goes back. Um, so he he's trying to get a job there, so he can kind of get more information on that. Mm -hmm. And um, he kind of denies him, tells him to go away. And he saw the kid leave with the backpack, right, full of um, drugs to right. go out and sell. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the backpack now. Okay. Okay. So the backpack is is bright red. Bright red. Okay, so <laughs> when I'm trying to hide out. stuff, or when I walk around the neighborhood, you know, and I really want people to notice me, or not notice me, uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna carry a, a black or a camouflage or a dark color backpack. So the red backpack, uh, let us know. This, in my opinion, is for us. So that we can keep track yeah, of think, the backpack. Yeah, I think it was more for the for It's the for viewers. the viewer. But, like, can you be any more obvious? You know? Um, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it could be a different color backpack with a bright red emblem or something on it. But um, that's okay. I mean, I buy that. I'm just thinking in the real world, bright red backpack probably things you're bringing home uh, groceries or, I don't <laughs> know, something. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so uh, the red backpack, that was for us to keep, keep track of it. Um... They pull up on the the cops pull up on him. He even tells her to pull up there. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. The, yeah, O'Reilly and to the catch other them. guy. Yeah. He ditches the backpack, and the backpack uh, gets grabbed by Tyrone. Tyrone, yeah. Yeah. So who then returns it to the uh, the guy, the owner there, and tells him he kind of knows what's going on. So let's cut across to Tandy. Tandy is um, in this episode. She's getting really close. She's going on to cover. Yeah. But she's uh, she's kind of she's kind of taking a good note. Like he's yeah. kind of taking a bad not not that he's making a bad decision, but he's kind of getting to the rougher things, and she's mm -hmm. getting into the yeah. Well, it's kind of it's odd because they're both kind of doing similar because they're both kind of like going undercover in, in a the, way, but in completely different directions. directions. Yeah. Um, so she meets the daughter of another um, scientist. Yeah. Who worked yep. with her father? Yeah. It's like apparently. Um, the that her father and Tandy's father um, were the only two, I guess that that, from what I understand, survived the the oil rig explosion. So, and of course, her father was, uh, yeah, um, you know, well, he wasn't on. He died as part of the thing. But so he, I guess, technically, her dad is the only one that's still around. Okay, and then we uh, we meet a guy who has a license plate. Is that Stan Man? This yes, Stan okay. Man, and I'm. I was wondering because they because they. Th it was just kind of weird that they that they showed the license plate. And yeah. I want to say it was at least twice. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm wondering since it's a Marvel show, it, you know, is like oh, is like that Stan sort Lee of like place. yeah, an homage to because you know they, that's one of the they call him Stan the Man. Oh, like whether that you know, and I don't know if anybody ha knows. Um, please comment, but. Um, I don't know if that was kind of like, you know, a lot of the Marvel shows, you know, there's this like is a, true, cause there's we're a like, picture yeah. of Stan Lee or whatever. Yeah. They'll put like a cameo. I wonder yeah. if that's like their little, right. little Easter egg. Right, right, right. And so, um, but it, she pokes his tire with it. But I was thinking dagger, that something's, yeah. something was going to come up with him because he does not like being pushed around by that scientist girl. Now, she seems good. She seems on the up and up. So if anything's um, crooked with her, I will totally be shocked. Yeah. Um, and so... But actually, Tandy's the one who, of course, had to lie to her to get her in, but now that she knows the truth. Um, so, and then Tandy goes to her father, um, follows the girl, mm -hmm. wish I knew her name, to her father, touches her hand um, in the dream. This is talking about the, the dream sequence? Yeah, the dream sequence. Okay. Well, 
that not that one. That one was Tyrone's. But. Okay. But she touches again. She sees the black um, cloak type smoke coming off of um, like a locked door. Yeah, I don't know what that is. And so she decides um, that she, you know, that she needs um, Tyrone's help. Mm -hmm with that so hopefully uh next episode she'll get together and we'll be able to see what's behind that locked door that's a good um cliffhanger yeah yes yeah no the dream sequence that i was referring to was tyrone's where um he touches that that uh the guy and it's like that uh, it's like a really i don't know if it's a clown or oh yeah but it's all it's creepy. got like a like a like a really creepy like nursery rhyme kind like of like a horror rhyme to um, it yeah yeah it was, it was like really it was weird. a tisk and a task a green <laughs> yes, and yellow yes. basket yeah so um that was super creepy now i don't i don't mind adding in elements like that that was no really no i really cool. i really like that um yeah but yeah and we're was... not even fans of horror movies but that that sure certainly did add a different element to it um and so let's see what else uh no, you were one like Mina Hess is that girl that you were t referring to. Oh, 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 that's her name. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she's the one working on the um, fuel sur source and everything. Now, um, what was I going to say? The I'm wondering if you know is this going to tie in? Is this um, drug company through this other guy who got killed? Mm -hmm. um, and the and um, radon is it radon? Roxon. Roxon. I'm, I'm trying. I'm going through another one. Uh, Roxon, are they going to be connected somehow? Is Roxon doing something uh, behind the scenes with drugs, or is this company like? Are these two stories going to tie together besides through our heroes? So, so that will be interesting to find out. Now, uh, we didn't mention, of course, the the police officer comes in and the other police officer tells that guy to shoot her. She shoots, and then he goes off and chases Tyrone. Tyrone's able to escape. Yeah, the cloak. He, yeah, he keeps teleporting and uh, yeah, and he doesn't. Uh, he like teleport and then come back, teleport and come back, and then when he gets to the fence, he just to totally teleports. Yeah. So. But I can't tell because when he teleports the last time, instead of teleporting back to the same spot, he teleports to the church. Mm -hmm. And um, Tandy's there, and I can't tell if he's just upset or mm -hmm. if he's actually hurt because you know he's like you know making the face like mm -hmm. he's and it's not like he's crying, almost like he's crying, but I can't tell if he's. You know, because they kind of like leave mm -hmm. it before you find out, but you can't, I can't tell if he. I don't think he got shot or anything. Or, I don't remember um, that. But it was it, it was really cool because you know she goes to, um, like comfort him, and of course when she gets close, she like, like gets thrown <laughs> back. Um, and it kind of reminds me, um, uh, because you know because from what I understand they they end up together. They're like uh, a uh -huh. couple. Um, and it kind of reminds me there was a, a movie in the 80s called Lady Hawk and it was and it was at night the man is a wolf mm -hmm. and by day the woman is a hawk so th like they, they they're the, the, they make a comment in that they're always together but eternally apart uh -huh. um, so it was interesting to see if you know this is going to be like hey you know we have feelings for each other or whatever but we can't Mm -hmm. actually touch it'll yeah. be interesting to see how they play i don't think they have forward. any feelings for each other right now but they can't even like as a friend right. comfort or touch or anything as you would do and they're uh, you know you would just <coughs> automatically go to like help out and then they get shocked apart but anyway so like i said i really like this episode from a couple episodes when we said it's time to ramp it up it's definitely ramped up yes it's got the pedal on the gas and i feel like we're gonna figure things out my only rant is the rant i made earlier about that particular scene which seemed to have absolutely nothing to do with the episode um other than that guy got killed he was in that scene uh we don't even know who the girl is um and if there's any tie to it but anyway so like i said i think i'm gonna go with like an 8.5 on this one yeah yeah it was really good uh um and one little thing i, I wanted to like about Mina Hess, I, I I wondered because I don't I don't know enough about her character to know if she's added for the show or if she's from the comics. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought it was kind of interesting that she's working on this alternative fuel source. And, and Hess, only, yeah, yeah, and Hess, you know, the, the Hess oil company. Um, so it's like, did did, yep. did they are they and tying those together? Or, gas stations. Or, um, that was kind of an interesting little little yeah. tidbit. Yep. Very cool. All right, so uh, I definitely enjoyed this episode um, of uh, episode six. 
and hopefully seven, eight, nine, ten will just blow us away yeah. because it is really amping up and I cannot wait to see what's behind that door and if there's any connection besides um, through our characters. So let us know if you've been watching Cloak and Dagger, what you thought of this episode, any of the things we mentioned, and I'm sure there are experts out there that know every nook and cranny. Yeah. If you give us any help in the comments, we're just basically, you know, giving our opinions and stuff that we happen to see because uh, we have enjoyed the show. So thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and as always, we want to know, what do you watch?